Hi folks, my name's Kevin and it's time for some knife nerdery. I've got a little unboxing video right now and I do mean little. Um, let's use another little life, knife, wow, knife to open it. This is the TRM Nerd. Yeah. <laughs> Look how we. So, this should be... So naturally, the moment I started filming that, um, it got interrupted. I have neighbors, they're little kids, they're adorable, um, but sometimes they can be particularly shrill, and they're still playing outside, so who knows, I might get interrupted again. Hopefully they won't just start shrieking like they were a moment ago. Anyway, what do we have here? This is a Spyderco McB. I have no idea what PIN stands for, but this shouldn't be just any old McB. This should be a... <laughs> oh, oh, I love that. This is the Honeycomb Special Edition that comes from McNeese Custom Shop. So, uh, the Spyderco McB is a knife, a production knife by Spyderco, designed by Jonathan McNeese based on his custom knife, the Killer B. So they combined Killer B with McNeese to create the McB. And one of the things that, that uh, Jonathan McNeese started doing is selling customized versions in his own shop. So he would offer different anodization colors and different engraving patterns, and he would even offer fun jimping right here, which we'll get to in a little moment. Um, this version is only available from his shop. I got this in secondary because I've never once seen them in stock on his shop, so I don't know if he's still doing it, but hopefully he is. They're still listed in his shop. Um, <laughs> and one of the things that he does is offers his own custom clips for these. I've, I'm probably going to get one because, uh, there are two, two main reasons. The first is that he, his version of the clip is shorter. It, the entire thing is shorter, but also pulls this contact point up higher. And so that shorter distance length here makes it both kind of fit with the knife better. I think visually it looks better, but raising the contact point up higher eliminates one of the problems that this knife has, which is that this um, area here, you have to get past this interesting pivot and slide into a relatively small gap here. So by moving this back, you're increasing the amount of space you have to navigate your pants through. But the clip that he offers is um, still not a deep carry clip. And so I do like the idea of getting one of the aftermarket third party uh, rollover deep carry styles. But I still might get his because in addition to being shorter, the other thing that he does is offers different engraving patterns, including a matching honeycomb pattern. Um, those are still in stock on his website, so I might just pick one of those up. Um, I have not even opened this knife yet, and it's already uh, two and a half minutes in. Um, let's find out. I, I think I can thumb flick this. Ooh, super easy. Yeah, that works really well. I don't know if I'll be able to finger flick this because the spidey hole is reasonably obscured. No, not yet. <laughs> no, I don't know. The detent is not particularly strong, and so just trying to shove my finger into the hole to get access is kind of pulling it past that detent. But this... That is super, super easy. So I mentioned that jimping. One of the things that McNeese was doing on his custom version is just offering uh, additional jimping right here. And what that does is it means that you can get traction on this and treat it as a front flipper. Because without that jimping... <laughs> no, not really. But you get the idea. And so if you add jimping there... Oof, I don't know. I've never heard of him doing it aftermarket on ones that he didn't customize, but maybe since this is one from his custom shop, maybe he I could pay him to do it. He probably has other stuff going on in his life. But anyway, I am super excited to have this knife because I love tiny little box cuttery opening eyes. I love tiny knives for three main reasons. The first is that, honestly, they just they just make me smile. I think they're funny looking. I find them amusing. And that brings me a certain kind of joy. The second reason is because, as I said a moment ago, they tend to be box cuttery. So they tend to be the kind of thing, well, I'm about to feel this for the first time. 
Ooh, yeah. That feels so good. They tend to be designed like this. Little worn cliffy style blades that let you put your finger somewhere in a nice spot and just drag it along the side of a box. This is going to work so perfect for that. Ooh. Oh, I'm very excited about that. The third reason why I like these knives, I guess it's not so much a reason why I like them, it's just that why they're not ruled out for me. I have slightly smaller than average hands, and so knives this size can work in my hands in a way that they just don't for some other people. That flicks really, really well. So, I mean, yeah, I get a two-finger grip on this if I'm trying to hold it like that, but for the most part, if I'm just going like this, I can get really nice grip. This feels great. Um, I do have other small knives, including the one that I used to open this up. This is the TRM Nerd, and you can see how much bigger it is. Wow. Let's see where this falls in my lineup. I don't have everything out right now, but let's see what we got. So this would be probably above it. This is the Giant Mouse Ace Riv, slightly bigger, probably around there. This is the, uh, oof, fail. Fail again. Best Tech Tulip. And <laughs> oh, this is the Ferrum Forge uh, me, ma, Micro Fortis? Micro Fort? Is that what it's called? Micro? I don't know. I freaking love this stupid little thing. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Anyway, uh, this is a little bit more on a novelty, although uh, they made a legit knife. The rest of these are mostly designed for being small utility knives, and that's just a use case that I have, and I love them. So I'm very excited to have this. Uh, my gut reaction is that this feels really, really good, and I think is going to just be a fantastic box cutter knife. Very, very excited. Ooh, that feels nice and sharp. Oh, I'm just very... I'm very pleased. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.